Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, my name is Olivia, and I like to make videos about anything that I love. That's basically, like, K-pop, to makeup, to books, to drawing. I like to do a little bit of everything, and if you guys like to do those things too, please subscribe to my channel for more future content. Anyways, let's get started with the video. So today, you guys, I'm not doing anything really special. I am going to talk to you guys about more books. Recently, in my last video, I did a book outlet haul where you guys absolutely loved it. Today, I'm just going to talk about the books I've already had, the books that I've read. I'm going to talk about some of my favorite books, some that I recommend, some that I don't really like. And I'm going to be cleaning out my bookshelf, making it all look nice it's a little dusty at the moment so it needs some tender love and care if you guys are interested in anything i have to say please stay tuned and let's get started right now i already have my bookshelf pretty much organized the way i want it these two top shelves are like my favorite books and I always put the hardcovers on top because if you guys watched my last video I really like having hardcovers versus paperback these books it kind of ranges from how I organize my bookshelf so it would go from like my favorites to books I've read to books that I haven't really read or books that aren't eh. and then over here are more of like the paperback books that I have. Yeah, this one, this one, I just, I try to organize my bookshelf with height because it kind of just bothers me if they're not the same height. I have like OCD problems, but we're just gonna ignore that. What I'm gonna do is gonna take all the books out. I'm gonna get all the books that I got recently from my book outlet haul and then kind of just like make it look good i guess i don't know one thing that i always really enjoyed is that like on instagram if you guys follow like book accounts they always post pictures of like books and color coordinated i think it looks so cool but also like i can't do that because like it wouldn't work together like like this book's red so i'd have to put this book next to this red book but they're not the same book like that would bother me i don't even know that's just me i really enjoy having hardcover books versus paperback they just look and feel a lot nicer and you know paperbacks if you like no matter how hard you try you just end up folding the back when you're reading a book and I just don't like that all right so I've changed the view you guys can finally see a little bit more of what I'm working with these are the books that I got off of the book outlet haul I think it was a total of like 12 I think I recently got these two new editions which is the Lunal Chronicle series i already have read this series i just never had the actual physical book i'm gonna start at the very bottom these are actually just textbooks that i have so i have the grimm's fairy tale i don't have the actual cover that goes over it because it wasn't my book it kind of just ended up becoming into my um possession however this one is just basically full of all the grim tales i have a journal i have all of these anthologies from all of my English classes because I'm an English major if you guys didn't know. In here I have my own published poem in here. I have this really cool um, cookbook about how to make different types of ramen. It's really fun. I think I made a good amount of them. Here this is a um, container that looks like a book. <laughs> I'm trying to open it. pretend that didn't happen. Here I have all of the Aragon series. This is actually a recent series I just read called A Shattered Realm World. A Shattered Realm Novel. These are what they called. I have the second two books over here but I read the first two books in like two days. Anyways yeah so the first book is Flamecaster. It's pretty good. It's very dystopian, adventurous. It's like magic and stuff like that. Pretty good. I like it so far. Anyways we have all of like the Percy Jackson series. I used to be a big fan of these series when I was growing up. I really loved the whole like Greek mythology, Roman mythology, and all of that. Percy Jackson series are really rough shape. I think I've had them for like 10 years or so, like since I was in like middle school. They're pretty rough. I have The Maze Runner. I never read this book because I watched the movie. This series I'm reading, you guys, the next book comes out this month in March. I think it comes out like on the 18th. I have yet to pre-order it, so I'm just waiting for it to come out. It's a book about like vampires and werewolves and the supernatural. And if you guys like reading books like that, this is definitely something I would recommend. Don't go on Goodreads. Goodreads does not have good recommendations for this book. I don't know why, but I learned very early on that going on Goodreads just ruins my expectations of books. So I just stopped going on there. Here I have the Tasty Ultimate Cookbook, you guys. It is pretty cool. I like really love just 
Look at that. That's amazing. Oh, vegetables never look so good. If you guys don't know how to cook, I recommend getting a cookbook or even just like looking online. I know some of you guys on there, my friends, don't know how to cook. This is how you begin. Get a cookbook, okay? The Snow Like Ashes novel, really enjoyed this one. I haven't finished the third book yet because school started and then once school starts, I basically drop everything. It's a trilogy, really enjoy it. Kind of similar. If you guys ever read Sarah J's Mass's book, A Throne of Glass, it's kind of has a similar concept. I don't want to get too much into it because I don't want to spoil anything and I am a spoiler. So I'm holding my tongue. The True Witch series. I haven't read these yet. I was going to, but I don't think I have the third book. And I was like, no, I don't want to do it. And I Darken series. I actually never finished this series. I think I was halfway through the first book. All right, here you guys, like my all time favorite book. Like I wanted to be a writer after I read Sarah J. Mass's novel. Not only does she have like the Throne of Glass series, which is like six or seven books. I don't know. I haven't finished it. I don't know if I want to. I don't want to read the last book because then it's all over and I'd rather just keep it current in my head. But she also has another book, Court of Thor Thorns and Roses. Um, and I think I don't even have the first book. I think I rented it, but I have the next two books and it was so good. It was so good. She just is so good at writing and whole world building is absolutely amazing. Like Sarah J Mass, if you guys haven't read her, you need to go read her right now. I love her so much. Anyways, I don't have the complete series. I'm missing like two books or so, but The Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight, Queen of Shadows, Emperor of Storms, Kingdom of Ash. Can't express it enough how much I love these books. Amazes me how the first book is nothing like the fifth book. It's her world building that makes it really, really good and how she introduces like new ideas and concepts. Anyways, I don't want to brag too much, but really enjoy the series. I really like it. She's such a great writer. The top shelf, I have a good amount of Sandra Clare books. Cassandra Clare was the first author I ever read that actually got me into reading was The City of Bones. Can never forget about that. Literally took me, you guys, like two months to read it, but not that it took me a long time to read it. It's that it took me a long time to just open the book. I rented it from the library, like back in middle school in like sixth grade. I kept getting like a late notice from the library. Like, hey, you've had this book for like a month, like kind of, return it and I was like crap like I told my friend I'd read it so one day I was like dang I'll read it and so I opened the book and it was like this massive book like it literally felt so big in my hand and someone who never read I was like there's no way I'm gonna read it and next thing you know I finished it in like three or four days and then that's how it began this this is how it began was from Cassandra Clare. So I have a couple of her books. I don't have the whole series. I have the last book to The City of Bones, which is City of Heavenly Fire. This book was so huge. I cherish this one because it was the first time like I ever bought a book was this one. I bought it at the full retail price, which is like $25. And that is a lot of money for like somebody who's in middle school. I cherished it and I really loved it. Then we have the Clockwork series. I think this is the third book. Really good series. Another great one by Cassandra Clare. This one really enjoyed it because there is this one part I think I have it highlighted in the book. Oh, I can't explain. I don't want to spoil it. But if you guys are curious about my thoughts on this book, just let me know and I'll explain it to you and I'll do like a video and talk about spoilers and stuff like that just so I can convey how much I enjoyed certain parts of those books or just certain quotes, you guys. Like I literally was that person who had a highlighter and I was like, wow, this is so passionate. I really enjoy it. Then we have her newest series, which is Lady at Midnight. I think this is the first book, which takes place after The City of Bones. So um, the first book was really good. I have the second and third book. I never finished the second one because by the time I was halfway through the second one, the third one didn't come out. And I didn't want to finish the second one until the third one came out. And then the third one came out, but I just didn't finish the second one. Hey guys, I did want to say something that after I finished reading the Clockwork series by Cassandra Clare, I loved it so much that I even emailed her this long paragraph about like how much I enjoyed her writing and how much I like inspired to be a writer and just like thanking her so much for like writing this story for us. And it took her a while, but she even messaged me back and said like, thank you so much for like enjoying the series. I really appreciate it. That was one of the best things I've ever like received in life. Like somebody just... I don't know somebody who you really like cherish or respect you know like say hey like thank you and they kind of like notice 
you in a way like it was really a great experience and i just something i can't forget um if i find the email i'll put it like right here for you guys to see but it was amazing um i i think that's why i hold cassandra claire to my heart so much because of that one experience but yeah i just want to share that with you guys then we have an emperor in the ashes torch against the midnight the first and the second book they have a third book i don't have it and i haven't bought it because they ended up changing the entire front artwork on it. A great series. Another great one that I recommend. I don't have the first book, which is the Red Queen series. It's about a society that's divided between people that have, I think it's like silver blood and then people that have red blood. Silver blood is like noble and then red blood, they're like not noble. Oh, they're also gifted with powers. So it's actually a really good series. Heartless. I read this book maybe about like three years ago and it still just makes my heart hurt not necessarily that it was an like amazing book i couldn't forget about it it was just the very ending i just didn't expect it or maybe i was just stupid and i was like la di da and just just was reading just to read and didn't like think about it you know it's the same author marissa myers who writes the lunar chronicle series it's about the fairy tales but a different take that she takes on them but this is its own standalone novel heartless it's about this girl who like lives in like wonderland and wonderland itself it's kind of like its own realm she just wants to be a baker that's all she wants she meets like a joker and falls in love and it's all great it's really great up until you know the climax and you're just like oh interesting can't explain anything else because I don't want to spoil it. Here I have Oliver Twist, which I read recently. Um, a very long, complicated novel about a boy who's an orphan um, who's just trying to like live a justifiable life, but people just are sort of trying to tear him down. Um, Charles Dickens is a great writer. If you guys ever like to read classics, it's a great book to read. Can't really say much about this one other than that I really enjoyed the ending of it. I think. This is the second and third one. I finished it a long time ago in high school. I let my friend borrow the first one and she never gave it back. But it's kind of about reincarnation, um, the gods, like the Greek gods. Uh, it was a pretty good book. I enjoyed it. I don't believe I've read this one yet. I did get it out the book outlet a while ago. I just haven't had the time to read it. Reckoning, I read The Reckoning. I didn't really like it that much. I didn't think the story was very good or the plot. I think it was weak. The characters weren't that strong. I don't know. I didn't really like it. it didn't really give me that like, that feel. The Becoming of Noah Shaw. I bought this because my friend recommended it, but I never read it. But she told me it was really good and I trust her opinion. So I'm pretty positive it's a pretty good book. I just haven't read it yet. Lila. I don't know if I read it or not. It's been a really long time. Eleanor Park. I also haven't read this one. But my friend recommended it and she said it was really good. So I trust her opinion and I'm sure it's really good. Fans of Bronze and Gold. From the looks of it, I think I started it and I got confused and I think I stopped reading it. Did I finish this? I really don't know. It's been too long. I think I should reread it again. The Geography of You and Me. I didn't get that far. I think I got through page like 70. But the first, the beginning was interesting. Like I I believe she lives in New York and like the whole power went out and she's in an apartment on the rooftop or something and meets this guy. The Wizard of Oz. The Shadow Falls series. I let my friend borrow the first and second one which is like two books in one and she never gave it back so I can't tell you if it was a good series or not because I haven't read it. Rebel Bell. This one was a really cute series. It's a standalone novel. Just a nice easy read was 6 out of 10. Witches and Wizards by James Patterson. This book has, I think it's like a trilogy. I'm not too sure. I only read the first book, but the first book was really good. I remember really liking this book. I'd give it like a 7 out of 10. Eve and Adam. Eve creates a robot named Adam and he's like the perfect boy and that's kind of what it's about. Um, 6 out of 10. Ferris. It's a standalone novel to the Lunar Chronicle series, I believe. So I don't have the full series, but this was the first series that I picked up by myself without anybody's recommendation and it was like the best thing ever. It's called Alice in Zombieland and I was, I am still, to this day, I always loved the idea of like Alice and Wonderland. I always loved it. Alice in Zombieland. Zombies, Alice, Zombie Hunters. It's such a good series like it's kind of cliche and it's kind of like high school -ish. but i did read this in high school so if you guys like reading stuff like that i recommend great hunt um never read it can't say anything about it we have the white rose series i haven't i never got i haven't read it yet 
sorry. Okay, I remember reading Defiance. This one was, it was alright. 5 out of 10, I guess. Um, I think it was the writing. I think it was too, how do I say it? Young. Like, I feel like it's like a 5th grader novel from what I remember. I think I remember, I was like, where is the romance? There was none. Really dull for me. Fallen Kingdom. I haven't read it yet. Fault in Our Stars. I read it prior to watching the movie later that night. And I think reading it so fast and then going to watch the movie kind of just ruined it for me. I don't really like John Green's writing. Um... Yeah, not really a big fan. There's a series called Frostfire, Ice Kiss, and it also has a third book. I haven't read it yet because I couldn't find it anywhere, and I remember going to Barnes & Nobles for so long, and they didn't have the book. Eventually, I just gave up on trying to find it, um, but this series was so good. Like, I need to go get the third book eventually. Like, sooner or later, I have to get the third book. But I really enjoyed the series. I really liked it. Um, yeah, 10 out of 10. Um, I never read this book. I think it's because I didn't have the other books, didn't want to read the first book without having the other books. It's a problem, I know, I'm sorry. Uh, F. Scott Fitzgerald, The Last Tycoon. I think my friend gave this to me. Anomaly. I read this one. It was kind of confusing. It was a decent novel. 3 out of 10. The Shadow Queen. I got it because I really like the cover of it. I haven't read it yet though. The Elite series. I read the entire series. I really enjoyed it. I just remember the main character pissed me off so much, but it was good enough to keep reading. Like this was the type of book where yes, the main character made me mad, but it was also one of those ones where I read it and I'd be like, oh my God, oh my God, no, I can't, I can't. It was like one of those novels and it was pretty, you know? I haven't read it, and usually when I buy books, I always read the synopsis first, so I must have found something very intriguing about it to buy it. A really small book, it's called Just Ella, and it's kind of like the Cinderella story, but like after the movie ends, what we know, Cinderella gets married, she's wearing a ball gown, she's all happy with Prince Charming, the movie ends, bam, they like ride off into a carriage or something. This is like what happens after that happens, and this... I honestly wouldn't recommend reading it if you really enjoy the Cinderella story, you know, if you like that idea of a happy ending. Because this basically was a more realistic approach on that story. This doesn't show the happy ending of Cinderella and the Prince Charming. It kind of completely ruined that idea. And at the same time, thinking about it now, it makes sense. Like, fairy tales aren't real, you know? There's real problems that people face. And this kind of just goes into it. It pissed me off because I know what's right. And I think that's why I didn't like reading the book so much. Because it completely just ruined that idea of a fairy tale for me. This Summer I Turned Pretty series. It's a great series. You guys like reading or you watched the Netflix show um, To All the Boys I Loved Before. This is like the same concept. I highly recommend it. I think it's a trilogy. This one I always recommend. And then Scarlet, The Lady Thief, and The Lionheart. I haven't read this one. But eventually I will. But that, you guys, is it with all the books that are in my bookshelf. So this is where I was sitting. These are all the books. Um, let's go ahead and start putting them away. All right, you guys, that took a long time. That is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed just like listening to me ramble about the books I have. If you guys had any questions about anything that I said, have any recommendations or anything like that, just let me know down in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, love myself, love yourself. Bye guys.